We've got a new player in the Texas speech game and it's called TTS OpenAI. Some say they have nothing to do with OpenAI and just use the name. Others say it's OpenAI's website. I don't believe either of those is true. What I think's going on here is that TTSOpenAI.com has created a website they use the OpenAI text-to-speech API, and so this is a front-end user interface that is not OpenAI, but they connect to OpenAI through the API. Maybe I'm wrong, that's my guess. Let's see how it works. I already pasted some text in here. It's just a, a little welcome from my fake podcast. Take a look at what voices we have. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. This simple fact has been observed by humans for that is Alloy, here's Echo. In the heart of the city, there is a large park where people go to relax and enjoy nature. The park has a... Sounded the same to me. The sun rises in the east and... In the heart of the city. Those are very similar. We have Fable. The library is a quiet and peaceful place where people go to read, study, and learn. A little bit of a British accent there. The train chugged along the tracks, carrying passengers to their destinations. Now Nova. In the kitchen, the aroma of freshly baked bread filled the air. The loaves were golden brown. And shimmer. The beach was a popular spot on a hot summer day. People were swimming in the ocean. So we've got six voices to work with there under the OpenAI Voices tab. Over on System Voices, we have a few more. Buck did not read the newspaper, or he would have known that trouble was brewing. Alec. And over this great demand, Buck ruled. Lisa. There he lay for the remainder of the weary night. Mia? For two days and nights, this express car... Teresa? And Buck was truly a red-eyed devil. Last but not least, Ella. As he spoke, he fearlessly patted the head he had so mercilessly pounded. We're going to go back to the OpenAI voices, and I think we'll just use the first one here. We use Alloy, so we have that selected. If we wanted to select a different voice for this piece of text, we just kind of click on the speaker card, and it gives it a bright green border. Now, you do have all these ads here to dodge around. Apparently, if you subscribe to a premium plan, the ads go away. I can live with them as long as it's free. Click Create Speech. Welcome to the Ridiculous Rants Podcast. I'm David. Now we've also got this story maker mode, and if we switch over to that, we can create a conversation. You can do that either by importing an SRT file, which is like your timed caption file, or we can click add conversation. We'll start with this. Welcome to the Ridiculous Rants podcast. I'm David, and we have some options here. We can have a silence before. We can set the speed anywhere from uh, quarter speed to 4x. We need to click the button here in this row if we want to change the speaker. Click that, and we can say echo. Might as well do something a little different. Emotion, it says coming soon. So that's interesting. It might give us the ability to add emotions there. Now let's add a co-host, so I'll come down, I'll click this plus button. For our co-host here, we're going to make her a female. I'll pick Shimmer, and then here in block three, we're back to David, and I used Echo for that voice. Make sure we got that all squared away. I see we have a drop down over here that says high quality. We can have high or HD quality. So we click HD and click create story. And we have to log in if we want to use HD, so let's go back. Get back to our story here, and we'll drop that. We'll switch that back to high quality, create story. Oh, we have to log in to do that. I've created an account now. Let's see if we can get it in HD. Optionally, it says we can give the story a name. I just called it Rants Test 1. The output format, it says Wave is coming soon, so MP3 is our only option. It's calculated the audio duration, the voices that we're using, and tells us that some limitations of OpenAI, this function only works in English. And by clicking the button below, we understand the risks regarding the quality of the resulting audio. Risks? Oh, that took us to the pricing page, so I'm guessing we're trying to do something that isn't free. Free gives us speech from text, can download audio files, access to the voice library. And the premium plan creates speech from text, unlimited documents to speech, can download, of course, create your own voice, voice library, create a story from text. That must be the issue. That's a premium thing. No ads and up to 200 megabytes per document. And on the free, you have unlimited credits. On the premium, you have 200,000 credits. Down at the bottom, it reveals that 1,000 credits is 1,000 characters with high quality voice or 500 characters with HD quality voice. So HD voices are double the character credits. 
So it looks like the deal is on the free plan, you can do as much as you want, just generating text one at a time on that first tab. But if you want to create a story or do a document to speech, you're going to need to be on the premium at six bucks a month. I don't think that's a bad deal. I do wish it would have told us up here, hey, this is a premium feature and saved us the trouble, rather than building the whole thing and then finding out that it's not a free feature. The story maker looks promising. It's similar to what we have in 11 Labs now with the voiceover studio where we can lay out the whole conversation there on one screen. The document feature here allows you to upload a document in a multitude of different formats. Once you upload the document, select your speaker, it'll get to work and send you an email when it's been converted so that you can download your file. The voice library right now, it looks like just these six open AI voices. We do have quite a few more system voices. Again, the rim ice broke away before and behind. There is an ecstasy that marks the summit of life. He months came and went. In the My Voices tab, it looks like this is where we would create a new voice, either by cloning our own voice or by designing a new synthetic voice. That's a premium feature, so I won't be exploring that one with you. All right, let's go back and look at this input text box, since this is the only place we can work really with a free plan. If you're not logged in, you're using a free account, you can enter up to 500 characters in this input text box. That's gonna be about a hundred words. Once you have created an account, you can have up to 3,000 characters in this box, roughly 600 words. I just went over to ChatGPT and said, write me a paragraph that I can throw in a text-to-speech generator to see how it sounds, and this is what it came up with. Let's go pick Shimmer for this one. I'm not sure how Echo is still selected, but Echo stays selected. I will try it anyway. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This sentence contains all the letters of the English alphabet. It is a beautiful day outside with clear blue skies and a gentle breeze rustling through the leaves. The town is bustling with people going about their daily routines, from shopping at the market to enjoying coffee at the local cafe. Birds chirp happily in the background, adding to the peaceful ambiance of the scene. I think the voice sounded really good. Personally, I prefer a casual sounding voice, but that's my preference. I imagine they will grow and add additional voices. It looks like they're working on under that story maker, being able to add emotion. I get the feeling that this website is pretty new and it looks like there's some potential here. Definitely worth keeping an eye on and seeing how it goes. I hope you enjoyed our little test drive here and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.